The world of work's always changing, but the new figures suggest the longer you're in a job and the older you are, the more likely you'll do overtime for free. And if you add up the average extra hours one in five of us do unpaid a year, you'd have worked every day in 2012 up until today for nothing. If you're frightened about losing your job, then very often you will agree to work longer hours, to do some extra overtime, even if it's unpaid, because you want to show your employer that you know you really are worth keeping on and you're very dedicated to the job. The figures mean that British employers just in a city the size of Hull can call on around 43,000 older workers, far more likely to be prepared to put in extra hours for free. But is it right? If you're doing extra hours, you should be paid for it because it's your time that you're spending. If you're working for a very small firm and you want to keep that firm going, you've all got to pull together. Lecturer Rob Goodfellow says he's often no choice but to do an extra 15 hours a week for free. If I don't do it, the courses are going to fall away. And if the courses fall away, that's my future. The TUC wants bosses to begin a new approach right away by making sure all their staff begin their journey home tonight on time.